Tsuna and Maka. Um, uh, so Artsakh Armenians have natural right to live in motherland, exist and develop. Is Republic of Armenia taking steps to protect? If not, what structures in diaspora can do that? We'll start from you, Sara. Can you say that again? I didn't hear that really. Oh, okay. So Artsakh Armenians have natural right to live in motherland, exist and develop. Is Republic of Armenia taking steps to protect it? If not, what structures in diaspora can do that? I still don't know. Sorry, I didn't, it's so, because maybe it's from all the sides. It's the eagle. Or can I just read it? It's the Republic of Ireland. Ah, okay. Sorry. So many voices from everywhere. Um, I mean, like I stressed already, I think that Armenia is not really stressing the right to return because as I said before I think they are afraid of that point they are afraid because they know that there have to be special circumstances for example it has to be under international security I mean you can't just send the Armenians back in that territory where I said it's Armeniophobia so you have to see how can we do that so there are a lot of demands in front of uh, Azerbaijan in order to implement that right. So either if we say legally there is this right, we have to implement it. And I think Armenia is kind of afraid, same with the uh, prisoners of war, to, to raise the questions. Um, but what it can do, I mean, is, um, first of all, I think it is exactly like Mr. Kirkosyan Kier said, Azerbaijan is afraid of the, of the judgment of the ICJ. And being afraid or not having wanted such a judgment is giving Armenia the power to assert pressure. To, to, it's a give and take. I mean, a negotiation is a give and take. And we have to listen what Azerbaijan wants and what Armenia wants and what the people of Artsakh wants. So they also have to sit on that negotiation table. As also Rafi correctly said, it's impossible that just Armenia is negotiating for the people of Artsakh because Armenia has totally different interests than the, than the Artsakh people have. So I think, um, first of all, that's very important. Um, what I also stressed already is, yes, the European Union, um, different state actors, NGOs, they can raise that question up and down and they have to raise that. As I said before, Otherwise, it will, be for, it will be forgotten. And we can't have that peace agreement if we haven't justice. You cannot, I mean, really, Azerbaijan has to be held accountable for the crimes it is committing. And we have to use that because, I mean, as Mr. Kirakosian correctly said, it is really going into our direction. And so there is the point to assert pressure. So yes, even if it's not Armenia, it has to be the European Union, it has to be America, it has to be civil society, it could be through the media, but we really have to stress the right to return up and down.